guys, my name's Dave and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. In this lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to play Ziti Ebwani by Maniskin. I hope I said that right. Anyways, this is an awesome rock track. It's got some really cool guitar riffs in it. So for the basics, you'll just need a guitar and standard tuning and you won't need a capo at all. Now, all the guitar you hear in this lesson is recorded using the Boss Katana 100 Mark II. If you want that tone patch, I'll leave it in the link in the description below. If you want to master your chords, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you want to improve in your guitar in general, then sign up to Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. Let's jump into the lesson. All right, so let's start with the main riff, which is a lot of fun to play. It's actually quite simple once you break it down. So let's start off with the first section of the riff. Now we're gonna break this first section up into two parts. So we're gonna start with our index finger. Now you're going to just lightly rest that across on the fifth fret of the fifth, fourth, third, and second strings, all right? So that way all these strings are muted and that's gonna help us later on. But we'll also have our ring finger here ready to go on the seventh fret of the fifth string. So for this first little section, we'll start with the open sixth string. We'll hit it again with the down stroke and then on the up stroke, we'll hit the seventh fret of the fifth string. So down, down. Now, when you hit the fifth string, what you should do is lightly move your index finger up so it touches the sixth string and that open sixth string is no longer ringing out. So, down, down, up. So it's only now the seventh fret of the fifth string ringing out. Down, down, up. For our next small section, it's, it's two muted strums. So at this point you can go mute, mute. So that's a down, up. And on the next down hit, you'll hit the fifth fret of the fifth string with your index finger and hammer on to the seventh fret. So that second little section. And when we put that together, down, down, up, mute, mute, down. And once more. Now we're gonna play that through three times. For our second part of this riff, we're going to just take our pinky finger, put it on the eighth fret of the sixth string. Have your index finger here ready to go on the fifth fret of the fifth string. So we're gonna go down, down, up. And then we'll do the exact same thing, but with the seventh fret of the sixth string. Down, down, up. So that second part of this riff all together. And I've indicated the picking direction in the tab below as well. So we'll piece that all together and this is the main riff. Now, if you're playing this in a live setting, what you really wanna do is absolutely go mental and you know rock out. And when you're doing that, you can't really have the luxury of you know, plucking the notes individually. If you're moving around, you really just wanna be attacking the strings really hard and, and rocking out. So this is where it's really important to have that index finger touching all the other strings because then if you're rocking out to this, what you can do is just strum all the strings and just basically strum it with a down, down, up, down, up, down. So. And it stands a lot stronger, has a lot more energy. And when you're standing up and playing, this sounds a lot cooler. So. And together with the full riff. Now remember when we hit that up strum to hit the seventh fret of string you just need to subtly move your index finger up so it touches the sixth string and those open sixth strings won't ring out anymore next we move on to the chorus riff and this is a lot of fun as well there's just one line of tab here we're going to take our ring and pinky finger and put them up the 12th frets of the fourth and third strings now again you want to have basically everything muted from the fifth string onwards at the start. So you can do that by just lightly resting your index finger across everything. We're gonna start with a down, down, up, and then on 
the next downstroke. It's just a mute. So you can take your middle finger and lightly touch the sixth string so it's no longer ringing out. So Now I want to note my fingers are here, but they're not pushed down yet. They're just ready to go. So down, down, up, and nothing is pushed down. I'm just muting these strings. And on the next up strum, you're going to hit all the strings, but push down your ring and pinky finger. Everything else should be muted. And you can just slightly bend that up a quarter note. And all together. And we do that three times. And then we go to a G power chord, so it's the third fret power chord. Hit that with a down, and then move this up two frets and do the same thing. And in total for the chorus. So again, you only push these fingers down when you do that up strum, but for the rest of it, you should just be muting these strings so you get the like that. All right, next we get to the post chorus one, and it's almost the same as the verse riff with a couple of variations. So, the first time around we play this riff, we start off the same way with this section three times. But then at the end, instead of playing this, we go fifth fret on the sixth string, eighth, seventh, and then back to fifth. And up to seventh, slide that down quickly, and then third fret. And this is that triplet, so it sounds like this. And then the next time around we play this riff, we just cut that final bit out entirely and we just end with an open string. So the post chorus. Next we get to the bridge, which has a pretty cool riff here as well. So we're going to play an E minor triad, like that, so it's the bottom part of an E minor bar chord. We're going to be constantly going down, up, down, up, but we're only going to be pushing down on certain strums. So that'll be a first down strum, and on the next up, down, it'll be muted, and then up, mute, up, mute. So all of that together. And one more time. So again, I'm just pushing down when I need those notes to ring out, but my strumming hand is just consistently going down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And then on the next up stroke, we're going to play a little lick. So eighth fret of the second string, 10th, eighth, seventh, and then hammer on and pull off to eighth fret, and then end on ninth fret. So, and all together. And a little bit faster. Practice that slowly and then build your way up to it. So that's played through three times. And then the fourth time, we just change our shape. And that shape is an A minor triangle like this. So think about a D minor chord, but just move it all the way up to the eighth, 10th and 9th frets. And we're gonna do the exact same thing. And all together, the bridge riff. The final thing we need to learn is the outro, which is probably the trickiest part of this song, I would say. So we're gonna start with the open sixth string with a quick like that. And then we go 12th fret of the third string and we're going to play this with a up, down, and then go down to the 11th fret with an up stroke and then back up to 12th fret. So up, down, up, down. That first section. And then for the next section, we do the exact same thing except we're going from the 11th fret to the 9th fret. 
for the next section, we do the exact same thing, but we go down from the ninth fret to the seventh fret. So those first three sections. And then we're just going to go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up with our picking hand, but we'll go three times on the ninth fret and then up to the 12th fret for the rest of it. So down, down, up, down, up, down, up. And the first line of tab. The second line of tab is identical, except for the final section we go the ninth fret for three plucks, the 12th fret for three plucks, and then we end on the ninth fret and we hold that out. So, and the second line of tab. For this third line of tab, our first two plucks on the open string are now a little bit different. Instead of two quick ones like down, up, it's gonna be down, down. And then we'll quickly go up, down, up, down on the 12th fret to the 11th and back up to the 12th. So down, down, up, down, up, down. And then we go up to the 14th fret, hit that, go back down to the 12th and back up to the 14th, hold that out. And then up to 15th fret of the second string, Bend it up, release, and then to the 12th fret. And then we end this by going down, 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 down. So this third line of tab. For the fourth line of tab, we continue with that same pattern with the open string. So it's now down, down, and then we go to the high part straight away. We do the same thing with 11th to 9th. Same thing with 9th to 7th. And then the last section is the same as that last section we had in the second line tab. And then we end with two strums on the E power chord. So the final line tab. And in total for this outro bit. So now I'll be doing a full playthrough of the song, so feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to to practice playing along to, and see how you go.
Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this lesson, then I know you'll absolutely love these other lessons too. So hit the link here, or if you want to grab a copy of my free guitar ebook, then head over to guitarzeritohero.com or click the link here. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.